Okay, let's do this. We are going to look at how to speed up your editing time using Adobe Audition if you're editing a podcast. Now, I have got a piece of audio here. I actually recorded on two channels, left and right. On the left channel, it's my guest, and on the right channel, it's my voice. I rooted these individually when recording using my audio interface. The first thing we're going to do is hop over into the multi-track view here, and we're going to call this, quite originally, podcast and i'm going to use no template and i'm just going to click ok to all the rest of the options now you'll see you get quite a few tracks here i don't want to use the first two and what i can do if i want to bring in those separate left and right channels is i can first of all pop out this little triangle here in the files window and i can get the individual tracks left and right and drag them onto separate tracks. I can then zoom out using control or command backslash and I get the bird's eye view and I can get rid of all these extra tracks I'm not gonna need using shift and E. Look at that and then control or command backslash and we zoom even better. So quick shortcuts to really speed up your editing time. Next, I'm going to zoom in by using my scroll wheel on the top time bar here and I'm gonna play back a bit of this podcast. Uh, Premiere Pro Project and, and, and the editing team on that, uh, that film. That's brilliant. And the audio video. Okay, so that's myself speaking to Durian Gleaves, the product manager of Adobe Audition. But as you can hear, it's happening in real time. And this podcast, well, it lasts just over 30 minutes. I don't want to listen to all 30 minutes. I could just about get by with listening to maybe 15 minutes of it. So here's a quick hack to make these tracks shorter, uh, but not chipmunky, as in like, you know, really speeding them up like the sound of a chipmunk. You hit Control or Command A to select all the waveforms. You go into Properties. You switch on Real Time Stretch, not high quality because we only need it temporarily. So Real Time Stretch. And you simply type your desired number. I usually find 50% is good, but if you're a superhuman, you might want to go for 33 maybe. And look, it just nudges that down. And now we can zoom in. And again, exactly the same podcast. But as I scrub and play back. Um, usable audition was, especially when working so closely with uh, Premiere Pro Project and, and, and the editing team on that, uh, that film. That's brilliant. And the audio video integration. Okay, so everything's sped up. Now I can listen to the whole podcast in, well, 16 minutes, as you can see here. And I can go through, make my edits. Whether that's simply a case of cutting bits out that don't need to be there in the guest track, or whether it's a case of uh, an extra word or two that need to go, selecting, I can either select both tracks or one track and use a ripple delete access ripple delete by right clicking ripple delete and then you want to go for time selection in all tracks remember this shortcut control shift and backspace or if you're on a mac it will be command shift and backspace or command shift delete it deletes what you had there and it budges all the waveforms up so you can go through doing this again and again for instance if you've got like a, a delayed area with a big sigh before the answer comes in just remember you can select in just one track you don't have to do both control or command shift delete boom and then control or command backslash and you're back to the bird's eye view now we want to get it all back to real time well that is absolutely really so simple you simply select everything control or command a you grab one of these handles the stretch handles and you go all the way back out again to 100 percent when you've hit 100 percent control or command backslash go back all your edits intact everything you've done all the edits like that sigh and that good breath you. yeah that's a good edits intact sounding great if you want to be a super pro you can even go ahead and do the crossfade thing here as you wish but that's just perfection it's definitely not progress and there you go you've halved your editing time you've learnt a few shortcuts and what is more you know what you're going to need and you know that ripple delete is very very important happy editing thumbs up subscribe for more Music Radio Creative dot com